Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Eyes of Magic. This is Hunter, Shane, and Steven. Say what up, boys. What up, boys? What up, nerds? Uh, back at it again. Once again, no David. For some reason, this time, he just didn't want to join us. He probably has stuff to do, but I'm just going to call it like it is. Yeah, he's, yeah, lame. Today, we actually got Rares and Mythics. <gasps> I know, we got a good handful today, too. It's pretty exciting stuff. So let us let us. So let's just jump right in with this first card. This is Raga Draga Gorguts Boss. Raga Draga Gorguts Boss is two, a red and a green for a four four legendary creature human boar. It says each creature you control with a mana ability gets plus two plus two. And whenever a creature you control with a mana ability attacks, untap it. Also, whenever you cast a spell, if at least seven mana was cast, spent to cast it, untap target creature. It gets plus seven, plus seven, and gains trample until end of turn. So, a legendary that cares about mana ability creatures. Something we really haven't seen. I guess it only makes it a thing because you get that plus two, plus two. But I was like, most mana dorks are like one ones and one twos. Like, when the fuck are you swinging with them? You can uh, now. Yeah, no, I guess that's true. They get they get pumped. This is a I very mean, interesting card. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> funny enough, uh, in Descent into Avernus, which is a D and D campaign, uh, we fought. Spoiler, uh, Raga Draga. You uh, fought this, this boar a, boss, dude. Yeah, dude. I don't, I don't, I don't know if he was a boar, but we we fought him and we we wrecked him, dude. I'm not gonna lie to you. We fucking ruined this dude's campaign. Dude, you're oh, probably over leveled like a nerd. Anyways, this card, yeah? This card is great. I love this card. <laughs> seven Pretty mana. Seven mana. You know, it's a lot of mana, but at the end of the day, you're playing red and green. Shouldn't be an issue. Plus, you also think... have the yeah. uh, untap ability with this card. So, Yeah. It, so it basically gives your creatures vigilance, which is nice. Or they could tap again for mana, which is nice. But then I'm trying to think, like, is there a big mana They wouldn't spell? be able to tap again. Oh. Here's what you can do with Why? this card. Think about this. Think about this for a second. You swing in with a bunch of mana dorks. Yeah. But when you swing in with the mana ability that you untap all of them. Yeah. And on the stack, you can tap them all back using seven mana to cast a spell, untap something, give it plus seven, plus seven. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, why wouldn't you be able to tap it again, Steven? Well, I'm just saying, like, you'd have to attack first, and then you untap it, and then you have to tap it. Like, you can't tap it at the beginning... Because then you have to attack with the creature. Oh, that's all I was saying. I was saying you, they have vigilance, so you can attack with them and then untap them and spend the mana. Uh, the way you were saying, I thought you'd been like you tap them for mana to play a spell at the beginning before combat. No, other way around, brother. Come on, keep up. It's tapping, I mean, untapping, I'm tapping again. Okay. No, it's you're not keeping tap, up. Tap, tap, but I love this card. It's you're pretty good. A lot of time on, this, on card one. But this is a strong card. <laughs> we'll talk about it more in our commander grades video. Uh, this Ooh. next card. This is Descent into Avernus. Descent into Avernus is two and a red for an enchantment. It says at the beginning of your upkeep, put two Descent counters on Descent into Avernus. Then each player makes X treasure tokens and Descent into Avernus deals X damage to each player, where X is the number of Descent counters on Descent into Avernus. So a group hug hurt. Senso a Averto. What do we think? I don't like giving my uh, opponent stuff. True. I guess yeah. they're also, but then they get it also them. hurts you and everybody at the table pretty heavily. Imagine if this card said that the treasure they get comes in tapped, and I'd be like, get up. But, yeah, it but you're getting it too. Well, I want mine to be untapped, obviously. Ah. I like this card. Yeah. This plays so, the mono red very well. You play this, right? And then when it comes to your turn again, everybody gets two treasures and gets hit for two. And then it doubles every turn? No, mm -hmm. no, it just adds two. Never mind. It goes two, four, six, eight. That's still really painful. I mean, it puts a clock on everyone. You got to be running some kind of life gain on your side, right? Because, like, you're dying with them. Yeah. 
we're going down with this ship together. We all have mana, but we're all dying. You're dying with them, but maybe you kill them first. Yeah, no, 100%. If you can burn them out, red, I guess. Baby. This is red. Burn card. A side note, card art, pretty sure that's uh, El Terrell. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know saying. what that means. Uh, El Terrell is a city that was uh, chained down due to a deal in the Descent to Avernus campaign book. Spoilers. Hmm. I mean, just by your description, this is, that's what you just described. So I would say that you're probably right. Yeah, our whole goal in the campaign was to basically free El Terrell and bring it back. But yeah, we did I that. I these words you're saying, dude, they're crazy. <laughs> Anyways, this Dude. card, would you run it? Yes. No. Fool. I'm on Shane's side. I'm not running this card. I'm not helping people. I'm fine. Dude, but I, the more I look at this card art, dude, this, this is that like a... So we're looking at a city from really far away? Uh, Yes and no. So the city is basically held by chains that are dragging the city down into Avernus. Right, right. So I'm so like the top part of what we're looking at right there. That's yes. like that's the, the top city. of the city. Yep. Dude, that looks sick as fuck. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to this artifact. This is Mirror of Life Trapping. Mirror of Life Trapping is four generic mana for an artifact. It says whenever a creature enters the battlefield, if it was cast, exile it. Then return all other permanent cards exiled with Mirror of Life Trapping to the battlefield under their owner's control. So this is a blink effect for the table. Interesting. Interesting uh, art decision, dude. They lost a few. Step, bro. I'm stuck. Okay. 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 <laughs> I'm not even that one. <laughs> yeah, this is an interesting uh, card. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, because when a creature enters, right? If that's cast, you exile it, then return all other. So how does... So it just returns immediately? Or you're exiling it, and then that trigger happens where it's staying exiled until the next creature comes in and yours comes in? No, I mean, I just... I think it's just, like, literally as it says, just exile it, then return it. But return all is... weird. I think I think it's just because they're trying to, like... Cover their bases. Creatures come into the battlefield like token. Well, I guess tokens can't come back from exile, right? No, yes. they go bye bye. All right, this card's a little better than I originally thought. Then just right, killing, killing some tokens, dude. And then I guess if you have stuff that cares about ETBs, you're chilling. But then I guess then you're also helping your teammates with. So your teammates will get double ETBs as well, right? Opponents never teammates. Whatever you write, yeah. opponents. What I meant to say. It's, interesting. People interesting are tech, comparing dude. this to kind of like Panharmonicon. Uh, for both you and your opponents. Is Panharmonicon just for you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've never. I don't really play with that card, so I don't know. It's a good card. So then it, it seems like it's a worse copy of it. Then yeah, because like, why would you want to help your teammates unless you're literally just not letting them play tokens? Someone says they're not sure following the wording. How all other permanent cards are relevant. Someone says, let's say I cast this spell, then cast a creature. My creature ETBs, but then gets exiled. I pass my opponent, who casts a creature. That creature ETBs, then gets exiled. Then I get my creature back. And then they get, and then they get theirs? On and the next on cast? On the next... The next time someone casts a creature, I guess? I don't know. Like something's always in limbo, basically, is what's happening? I guess so. I don't see how that i mean dude I don't know wizards lately is. with their wording is so weird it also doesn't help that we're like getting it translated so i don't know i like this card just for the fact that it stops any token theme deck yeah that's true i'm trying to think though so if you're if the creature enters the battlefield you get the etb before it leaves right here's someone's point that they brought up this Kind of wrecks commanders, does it not? Why? Let's say yeah, a commander you can leave the comes card in, in it gets exiled, then you remove this card. Now you have to put it back in the command zone. Put this card back. I don't know. No, I thought I thought the whole thing was like a may. You don't have to. 
I thought you always can choose to put it back to the command zone. Right. But if it's exiled and you get rid of this card, then it's never going to be blinked back because this card's gone. Oh. So blinking this card, maybe? <laughs> That'd be interesting. I don't, I don't know how... And dude, some of these rulings are like way over my head. <laughs> this card's really good. Let's move on. All right, next card. Bane, Lord of Darkness. Bane, Lord of Darkness is one, a white, a blue, and a black for a 5-2 legendary creature god. It says as long as your life total is less than or equal to half your starting life total, Bane of Lord of Darkness has indestructible. And whenever another non-token creature you control dies, target opponent may have you draw a card. If they don't, you may put a creature card with equal or lesser toughness from your hand onto the battlefield. Solid card. Whoa. That would be a sick commander. This one's way better than that. Well, not way better, sorry. This one seems way more playable than that 8-drop or 7-drop that we saw yesterday. Or two days ago. Another god. The other, the other god. Yeah, this god. Wow. This god's sick, dude. So either drawing a card or you just get another creature for free? Yeah, Mind me the, and it's like... I, I, yeah, so yeah this card's really powerful. Enough, dude. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm going to play this deck. I'm going to build this deck. I, I'm already calling it right now. Lord it's of your darkness. favorite colors, isn't it? My favorite colors? And just, this is a really like just cool thing. I'm a big fan of cheating out cards for free from your hand, dude. <laughs> Big, big fan of cheating stuff out. I love it. Yeah, Kalia, dude, that's my girl. Stephen, what do you think? I said this is a baller card, dude. Yeah. All right, bala bala. Sign me up, dude. Let's. I like how we move on very quickly from the cards we love. Let's I just, move well, on because we always talk about things that we're kind of confused about, but like this card is just so straightforward and a good card. Like, yes, I want it, please. <laughs> All right, we got uh, Jahira, Friend of the Forest. Jahira, Friend of the Forest, is two and a green for a 2-3 legendary creature, Human Elf Druid. It says tokens you control have tapped at a green. You can also choose a background. This so card's busted, dude. Make all of your tokens. No manageables. shit. That's nuts. It doesn't even have to be creature tokens either. No, that's, that's nuts. All right, cool. Great card. Let's move on. All your treasures now just tap. You don't have to fucking sacrifice them, dude. Yep. Wow. Steven, tell me I'm wrong somehow because this card's nuts. Uh, you're wrong. But this well, card's nuts. Ex- you have to explain to me why I'm wrong. You can't just say I'm wrong. No, no, you just said tell me you're wrong. This is... All right, well, tell me I'm sexy. You're... Nah, that's what I thought. Damn. Didn't even tell him. Hunter, tell uh, me this card's nuts. This card's nuts, Shane. Thank you. Now I'm going to be David. This card's okay. No, David's going to like this card, dude. David thinks it's okay. I'm calling it right here, dude. All right. I don't understand how David could hate this card. But he could, and he will. I think he hates things when he's not here because he does want to agree with us, but he doesn't want to sound smarter. He won't agree with us now that we've been talking about it. Well, at the end of the day, David isn't here, so I say David would like this card. Don't you guys agree? David's going to love this card, yeah. David's going to love this card. He'd hate it. Hunter, you're not playing the theme. I would love this card. Thank you. Moving on. Broken. We have a dice commander. This is Will, Blade of the Frontiers. Will, Blade of the Frontiers, is one and a red for a 1-1 one, one legendary creature human warlock. It says, if you would roll one or more dice, instead roll that many dice plus one and ignore the lowest roll. And whenever you roll one or more dice, put a plus one plus one counter on Will, Blade of, the Frontier, Blade of Frontiers, and choose a background. Now, I know David will hate this card. 100%. He'll love David, it. David hates rolling <laughs> dice. Uh, but to that, that, but I will say this card's nuts. I love this card. Because you like to roll dice? Yeah. This is basically, so, this, so in D&D, there's a thing that you can have. It's called advantage. And basically, when you have advantage on a roll, you get to roll two dice instead of one. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of like a little play on it. So an advantage commander is what you're saying? Yeah, Vantage Commander. I mean, uh, this is the second time the D and D's come out, man. I'm sure you'll have plenty of uh, roll cards, right? I mean, I have so like, many dice. I have twenty dice next to me right now. No, I, that's not what I was saying. I'm just, I'm just saying, just in general. I, I was talking cards. about dice. Cards, I'm talking man. about cards, and you're like, I got so much dice, dude. <laughs> I, mean, I do. I'm ready to roll the dice cards because I have plenty of dice. 
Well, right, well, I just feel like the now that rolls the, uh, the dice on this commander being good or not. The, the I mean, this is my favorite dog. kind of commander. It starts off small, low mana cost, can get really big really quickly, and you can choose a background to make this a multiple color deck. This is solid. Fine, Steven. Well, I'm, interest, I'm interested to hear your thoughts later when it comes to our grading. That was a quick Ooh. opinion. All right, this next card is called Blood Money. Blood Money is five and two black for a sorcery. It says destroy all creatures. For each non-token creature destroyed this way, create a tapped treasure token. I hate it. I fucking hate it, dude. It's not good. It's so not good, and they're just if they keep pushing this whole tap treasure, bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> tap right, treasure so is abomination. This card, seven mana board wipe. This card isn't great, but it's not terrible. Explain to me why like it's not terrible, because you could do this so much cheaper and not give a fuck about tap treasure. I mean, I at the end of the day, you're still making a shit ton of tokens. Treasure tokens. Yeah, yeah I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, yes, they're tapped, I understand, but like, I mean, anytime you're board wiping, there's a shit ton of creatures on the field. I'm just saying, you could spend four mana and do this and not get the treasure tokens, or spend s- seven and maybe make Three? Four? Or you can spend the extra three and get maybe 20? You think there's going to be 20 non-token creatures? You're high. Maybe tokens. Are we playing against Gith- Gishath? Like, what the fuck? I'm just saying, Come dude. On. Like, Hey, board wipes are important. Board wipes are important. I just, I just want to say that this name of the card, Blood Money, it's pretty perfect. Yes. All I'm saying is that I've played against decks, and you have three opponents, and it's, if each, even if each opponent only has three creatures on the field, that's six. That's still nine treasure tokens, Shane. That are tapped that you can't use for a whole turn cycle. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm not saying that, that's that, pretty that, shit, that, that's dude. the okay. You still have nine treasure tokens. Yeah, that you can do nothing with for four more turns, dude. I'm okay, saying. and then when you get that one turn, they're not going to let you get that one turn. You're going to become a target. But I agree with you, saying okay. You're going to become a target when they play a card with summoning sickness? What? Question mark? Because you destroyed everything on the field? I can't argue with you right now, dude, when you're like this. Okay, I'm sorry. (laughs) I don't like this card. I'm sorry, Steven. Yeah, That's fine. You don't have to like it, but when I have a shit ton of treasure tokens and you don't, (laughs) whatever. Steven, I think this next card you'll love. Because it rolls? This is Lizelle's Acrobatics. Lizelle's Acrobatics is three and a white for an instant. It says, exile all non-token creatures you control, then roll a d20. If you roll a 1 through 9, you return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. If you roll a 10 to 20, you return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control, then exile them again, then return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Yeah, fucking solid. You can either get blink effects. Two, yeah, two ETBs or then three ETBs. Either way, it's like a plus. That's pretty good. I like how this is like, there's no way to lose here. David hates it. No, see, I think that David, I think that he's not, he's not, been, he's, he needs to look at these more. Like originally when they brought these roll cards out, the one through whatever were just dog shit. Like, I'll be honest, like they were, they originally, they were not good. It was like a literal whiff, but now it seems like they're kind of like, okay. We'll make the first one not really a whiff. We'll do it like something at least. And then if you get it, boom, now you're rolling in the dough, bruh. So like, this is way better. I just want to correct you real quick, Shane. It's either one ETB or two, not three. No, no, no. I'm saying you... No, no, no. It could be three. When you get the you, first one. Yeah, you play the card for the first time. ETB. Okay, sure. If you, I'm just saying in general, the cards are already there. Well, I'm just saying like, a, yeah, you could play... You Let's say you played two creatures. You got both ETBs. You got this one through nine. You got one more ETB. Or you know this, that's like three, three in a turn. Okay. Not that you guys care, but there is a uh, thing in D&D that's called an acrobatics check. So You've actually seen that before, dude. Yeah. I played I played, a, that, I played D&D one time. Apparently you didn't have a good time? I mean, it was a good time. I just, uh, yeah, I hated it. Okay. <laughs> okay just, let's move on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this next one is Archivist of Ogma. 
Archivist of Agma is one and a white for a 2-2 creature, Halfling Cleric. It has flash. It says whenever an opponent searches their library, you gain a life and draw a card. Dog shit. It was very lackluster, yeah. You I mean, get a flasher. Yeah. You flash it in when your opponent searches something. You can gain yeah, a life and draw a card, and it just sits there. And if your opponent ever searches again, you can just... That's true. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's cool. The card Dog. cantrips. That's good. Dog shit. I'll think about it. It's it's a cantripping card that is a body now, which is not bad, but it ain't no, like... What's that bird? See, this is where I... Can't... I'm so bad at naming cards, dude. What's the bird that has flash, and you fly, you flash it in, and then just they start to top three cards instead? Nothing like that, but this is pretty good. I'd rather this card be black and then spend two colorless mana and flash in an op agent. And then get whatever they search for. Just pick right, whatever just, you want. I'm just saying this is a cantrip, bro. It's good to keep it keep it rolling, dude. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to really good. It I want it to there. be cooler. Does does a job. Yeah, I, I I'm won't missing say a hand. Whoa. What? Is that a nub? He might be missing an arm. It's interesting because he's got like a long sleeve and then a short sleeve. He's a halfling, dude. So he's got a half of an arm? Yeah. He's sad, okay? I mean, he looks he's chilling. He's making books flying around. He's chilling. <laughs> All right, the final card we're talking about today. It's the Council of Four. The Council of Four is three, a white and a blue for a zero eight legendary creature human noble. It says whenever a player draws their second card during their turn, you draw a card. And whenever a player casts their second spell during their turn, you create a 2-2 two -two white knight creature token. White knight, dude. Rip. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no. I don't like this. Seems like a really good, really good, uh, like, Blue-white control deck, 100%. Why don't you like it, Hunter? It's just slow. It is slow. That's what I'm saying. It's a, it doesn't it's a do, control It doesn't card. do anything. Like, it's it a 0-8. 0-8. So yeah, okay, you're right. You can block with it, most likely. I'm not a stuff. You can draw one guard or make one 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, or both, sorry. Or both, yeah, on everyone's turn. I haven't seen that bad. Know. Okay, I, I won't say that it's amazing, but this doesn't seem as bad as you're saying it is. I would play with some I'm not like a this. fan. Yeah, but you don't like playing like smart magic. Okay. I'm you don't like playing smart magic. I just, it's just because it's blue, dude. It's all. I'm just saying blue. Smart players, dude. We're, we're hella smart. Uh, dude. Sorry. Let me tell you, dude, I'm a, I'm a five head over here, dude. I'm going to give this card... Don't Meh. say it. Yeah, don't say it. Yeah, I, knew, I knew it was coming. We all knew it was coming. But I'm gonna uh, give this a seven yeah. out of five, dude. We're not grading stuff here, okay? Uh, I didn't give it a grade. I gave it a meh. Yeah, Shane gave it a seven out of five. Out of five. five. Yeah, did that make not make sense to you? It was a joke. It's a great joke. Okay, you're such a dick. You give it over a hundred percent. That's you think this car's an all star. It's an A. We oh, already know it. I was know showing it. that. I was showing that I'm an idiot. Video. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding, dude. But that's it. That is all the spoilers for today. We got a good, hefty amount of rares today. That's pretty cool. Uh, what do you guys? You guys have a favorite today? Oh boy, do I. Yeah, I'm what actually stuck favorite? between three, dude. Ooh. Do tell. I'm literally between Raga Draga Braba, Blaba and Bane and the Friend of the Forest. But I think I'm gonna just lean I'm you know what? I'm gonna say just Bane. I'm gonna guess Other? Steven. Steven, are you You're gonna guess he's as easy as fuck. Are you on the wheel train, Steven? Am I on the the wheel train? I'm not. Oh, You're a liar. Nice, he is nice the wheel train, dude. Well, yeah, my favorite is your hero. Jahira. Yeah, just, yeah, Jahira for sure. I just ordered a Lathril deck, and this would be very fun. Hmm. That'd be a good addition. I mean, yeah. Uh, well, 
Hope you guys liked that video. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And comment down below telling us what your favorite spoiler was today. Uh, if you guys want to see all the non-rares and mythics, go follow us on our Instagram. What are you doing? You're missing out. Spoiler season's off. Going off crazy. Uh, also follow us on our Twitter. That's at guys that magic as well. And until the next video, hope you guys have a great day. Peace. Goodbye. Goodbye.